Yo, 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 what is good, bro? It is your boy, Dominique, Dom Reacts, back with another YouTube video. Today, I'm coming back with another, another lovely reaction. I am a reaction channel. This is what I do. Bro, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, bro. Post a screenshot right now, bro, on, on Instagram. Just tag me, at Dom Reacts. Um, Y'all all, everybody who comes to this page is mostly my Instagram followers anyways. So, bro, today I am going to be reacting to what if you did not watch your hair for a year? I do not want to find out. I take showers every day. I'm in love with showers, bro. So, let me get it started. Let me get the screen record going. You already know how we do it. Three, two, one, screen record. Yeah, okay, it's screen recording. So, without further ado, let's just jump in the video. From curls to cornrows, beehives to bowl cuts, pigtails to dreadlocks, keeping our hair healthy is a necessity we all share. Yes, sir. But if we didn't have any shampoo or conditioners at our disposal, what would happen to our scalps? If you're follically challenged, well, <laughs> kudos. This video the may not apply to you, but hair. the bald truth is the washing your truth. hair may be more important than you think. Uh, I think it's what did important. people use to wash their hair before shampoo? Water, nigga. <laughs> Why could avoiding shampoo in the short term be healthy? And what are the risks of poor hair hygiene? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you didn't wash your hair for a year. Okay, before I jump any farther in this video, there might be kids watching this video, so I'm going to try to keep it very simple for y'all. Do not try to experiment none of the stuff that you're going to see in the video. Do not try to... Bless your hair, bro. You go have lice, little niggas living inside your hair, Billy rocking this stuff, but you don't want it in that. While shampooing your hair may be a part of your everyday routine, the no poo movement has been gaining some ground. Well, just so we're clear, the poo I'm referring to is shampoo. So you can release the tension now. <gasps> this no poo movement isn't for everyone and may only work for certain hair types. People with dry, thin hair that don't produce much oil might be in luck, but if you've got a thick head of hair, well, take note. With some shampoos containing harsh chemical detergents that cause dryness, many people are trying some pretty quirky alternatives to keep their hair clean and lustrous. But what did people do before shampoo was invented? In the Indian subcontinent, a substance like shampoo was made by boiling sapindus, a tropical tree with Indian gooseberries. The sapindus berries, also known as soap berries, contain saponins, a type of organic chemical that creates like a soapy lather. And it's this lather that helps soak up any oils, leaving hair soft and manageable. The word shampoo. Yeah, this is what they used to do in the 400s, I guess. The four. I don't even know how they got research on back then in the 400s. Damn. Would you want to live in the 400s? I wouldn't. Poo derives from the Sanskrit word, sharpor, describing the ancient Indian practice of massaging and soothing the head and hair. Ancient Greeks and Romans used olive oil to keep their hair soft and supple. Olive oil. Yeah. They would also add a dash of vinegar to help rinse and lighten their hair color. <sighs> so if you don't mind your hair smelling like a salad, well, you can consider that an option. In the medieval era, Many people couldn't afford to take frequent baths. In some parts of Europe, women were advised to apply a mixture of barley, salt, and bear fat to their hair to help it grow longer. Bear fat? Well, what? at least it was 100% organic. During the Renaissance, women in Italy used lye soap alongside bacon fat and licorice bacon as a conditioner. I, don't I like suggest bacon and licorice, but uh, I think I'll like stick that. to eating them. And in the 18th century, wig wearing became a sign of class for both yeah. men and women. 
Some doctors even advise all these bald headed ass niggas wearing these wigs, bro. Don't worry about I mean, women to crack eggs over their head to keep their hair healthy. So, if you're ever the victim of an egging, well, maybe your hair will thank you later. Take that, you bullies. It wasn't until the 1930s that the liquid shampoo we know and love today became a widespread phenomenon. After 20 years of heavy marketing in newspapers and magazines, the trend caught on and the cultural expectation of washing your hair had begun. So why exactly are people now avoiding shampoo? And what would happen if we neglected to wash our hair altogether? Well, well if you don't, you don't tend to exercise very often or live in a dry climate, you might have better success with the no washing movement. This is due to a decrease in the production of natural oils, known as sebum, which keep our hair moist. But if you have thick, oily hair, you might have bigger problems than a bad hair day. Many people claim that after several weeks of not washing their hair, it becomes thicker and naturally voluminous. So in the short term, depending on how oily or dry your hair is, it may benefit you cosmetically and financially. But if you kept this up for months, well, your new do might start to smell a little funky. You stink. Hair traps moisture, allowing bacteria to build up on unwashed scalps. This could lead to an infection from all the Ugh, dead skin bro, cells, dirt, Shit, and bacteria nothing. your hair has mopped up. Even if you have a faux hawk, a man bun, or a skullet, bacteria finds a way. After a month, you'd be dealing with an itchy scalp and a sour odor. At about six months to a year, the bacteria would accumulate and clog up your hair follicles, which could lead to unwanted pimples, hair thinning, hair loss, and if you have roommates, you possibly ball, eviction. Get out of my house! While there's no medical reason to shampoo your hair, certain types of medicated shampoo can be a blessing for those suffering from scalp psoriasis. Yet other conditions like eczema or dandruff could get worse from regular shampoos containing harsh detergents. Now, if all this shampoo business is wigging you out, I don't like this thing. there are several alternatives out there, like coconut oil or even baking soda and apple cider vinegar. But please, don't take our word for it. Not everyone's hair works in the same way, so be sure to do your research before trying anything drastic. And while having long hair might be making a comeback, what about our fingernails? How long could they grow? If you're itching to know, well, that's a story for another What If. Yo, 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 that is about the end of the video, bro. Just don't try to do no weird shit like that, bro. Wash your hair. Keep your hygiene good, bro. Just stay safe. Until next time, bro, I'll catch y'all. Peace out.